eye on your health as we sit down with the doctor. We're talking caffeine. Good guy or bad guy? That's the question. We know it can be super helpful to get you started in the morning, maybe even get you over that midday slump. But have you heard of caffeine intoxication? I haven't, and I'm very curious. Tonight, we are joined by Dr. Carol Welloway, Baylor Scott and White, back with us. First things first, thanks for being back. When you hear caffeine intoxication, I think a lot of people's minds go, uh oh, I drink a lot of coffee, or I know that this could be me. What are we looking for? What does that mean? So, a good amount is probably zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but if you're going to drink, you want to drink less than 400 milligrams. So, that's usually four to five cups of just coffee, but if you're drinking something with all the extra espresso, it could be just two cups a day. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so what what happens when I put my creamer and my call and my sugar? Well, that is that making it worse. Diabetes. Talk. Oh we'll talk lord. About that later. <laughs> okay. So how common is that? I mean, if people aren't monitoring how much caffeine they're taking in, how common is that? So caffeine intoxication is very rare, and it being reported is even more rare. It doesn't happen very often, um, and oftentimes it's not really the coffee that's the culprit. Mm. So it is these caffeine supplements, the powders, the tablets. That's where we're seeing people get into a lot of trouble. So a lot of people I know, myself included, you drink a cup of coffee, you're like, okay, I'm jittery, I'm over-caffeinated, <laughs> I have too much going on. When do we know that that's a problem? So if you're starting to feel jittery, you should back off. Okay. That is a sign that you're exactly, as you said, over-caffeinated. Intoxication is that next level, headaches, diarrhea, um, and can lead to even heart issues. That's, and that's, I think, what some people might forget about. You know, it's such a routine part of our life and culture. Um, how much, if we're going to have the big C, doctor, how much caffeine should we actually be consuming in a day? No more than 400 milligrams. Okay. Again, about two to four cups. When we look at intoxication, we're looking at 10 or much more cups per day. And All right. Those tabs. When I start getting those symptoms that you described, what should I do? Am I flushing my body with water? Am I calling the doctor? What am I doing? Great question. So stop, stop the cup. <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> Don't take any supplements. Uh, but if you are feeling like your heart is racing, mm -hmm. you're anxious, you're irritable, um, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and see someone about that. Okay. Question. And my friends and I have talked about this because some people I know in my life have cut out coffee altogether, cut out cut down on caffeine. Sweating, is that a side effect too? And also, the levels of cortisol in our body. How can caffeine affect that? Because if we're already stressed and then we're adding a stimulant on top of that, could that have some long-term effects that we're not aware of right now? It absolutely can. And sweating is one of the factors that we can see in too much, when you've had too much caffeine. Okay. Uh, so definitely, you want to watch that. Again, those severe symptoms, headache, dizziness, feeling very, very anxious, heart mm -hmm. beating out of your chest. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes these patients were having to give activated charcoal to get rid of the caffeine or even go on dialysis for a short oh period of time. Oh my goodness. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much, Dr. Welloway, for being with us tonight.